Given what you have, what's been revealed around this campaign with accusations of racism, of homophobia, which we can get into, of nice some of the, that, there's the kind of uh, pro-Kremlin remarks that the Tories have seized upon. No, no, no I'm sorry. And, no, and no, we, no, 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 I'm not having any of that. Watch Nigel Farage completely put Beth Rigby from Sky News in her place. I have never seen a politician handle the mainstream media's questions like Nigel does in this interview. I've not made a single pro-Kremlin remark ever. I, not I'll one. Come, I'll come not back. one. We can come back no, 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 to not that. not one. We can come back to that. But do you think that the Tories would want to have you in their party now? Someone like Priti Patel has indicated that you wouldn't be welcome having previously Good. said she wants you I there. Want be, I want nothing to do with them. They're awful. They're ghastly. So you rule out they joining the Tory ghastly. party They're ghastly. after a general election? They betrayed the 2019 election result. Uh, Brexit voters, they've no interest in the truth. For them, it's all a game. So, to be about clear, being Nigel, you would rule no out. No interest. You would rule out. Yes. You would rule it out joining the yes. Conservative yeah, Party. Yeah, yeah. This is a new political That movement. was a yes, wasn't yeah. it? I want nothing to do with it. Okay, them. that was a yes, wasn't it? If you, if you don't work out, that's a yes. I, I, I don't know what else I know. I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, I mean, this is hilarious. I mean, this is very typical mainstream media questioning of politicians is just ask them the same question over and over again 50 times when they've very clearly told you what their answer is but they want to get a specific word for their little soundbite that they can post around and I mean it's so obvious that he was saying yes I mean he literally did say the word yes but just because he elaborated and explained it but Beth Rigby wanted a one word answer that can be taken out of context I mean it's just ridiculous well, that's that's very clear. Who do you think should lead them? Don't care. You don't care. No interest. No, th th there's no one. There's no one. There's no one capable of leading a party as bitterly divided as this. I think it was the Brexit referendum that showed how deep the divide is. But I suspect this conversation will be irrelevant in two or three years' time. I think where we're going to be this time next week is we're going to have a massive national debate about changing the electoral system. Uh, I think that's going to be the really big takeout from this election. Uh, and in that scenario, the modern-day Conservative Party doesn't exist. Now, Fraj, in the um, Channel 4 report, there was also your events coordinator, George Jones. Yeah. Can I just note the fact that she will not look him in the eyes when she is interviewing Nigel? I mean, she's just looking down at the floor the whole time. I mean... That's usually what people do when they're losing an argument, I have to say. Who's worked with you for years, mm. and he, when a police car passes displaying mm. a pride flag, mm. he says, you see that effing degenerate flag? Mm. What are the old bull doing promoting that crap? They should be out catching the nonces, not promoting the effers. Yeah, on the point the police should not show political symbols, agreed. On the point they should be doing stop and search, agreed. Of course I agree with that totally. On the language that was used, crass, drunken, vulgar, rude, wrong. Were you angry with cool. George when you, you, you heard he'd said that? Well, I was very angry. Of course I was. Furious. Why, why were you furious? Because I didn't expect him to do it. And all right, I know it was the, the football was on, he was downwind of a few drinks. We can all say silly things when we're a bit half cut. We all know that. I uh, don't know. I mean, do people say things horrible. like that when they're drunk? Oh, people say all sorts of things when they're drunk. Do they? And, and, uh, and often they don't even remember it the next day. But it, no, it was, it was awful. There's another person I wanted to talk to you about, and that was Andrew Tate. What do you think of him? You described him as an important voice for men mm. a couple of months ago. Mm. He really is massive. Huge, huge voice for men. Doesn't mean I agree with him in any way at all. Doesn't mean that I, you know, I'm not horrified by seeing some of the charges and the extradition that's probably going to happen. Do you think he's an important voice? For young men, not for me. Why do you think he's got the massive following he's got? You know, what, what do you think's going on here? I talk honestly. I don't support him in any way at all. But I can see for many young men he is important. You're aware he's been charged with sexual assault. I'm aware of all. Oh my God. I mean, he's literally just stated a fact that Andrew Tate is clearly an important person because he has a huge following and there must be a reason why millions and millions of young men are following him. He's literally just being quite critical of Andrew Tate, saying that he doesn't agree with the guy. But Beth Rigby is just pushing and pushing and pushing to try and get a comment out of him that says... I agree with human trafficking or something along those lines. I mean, just let it go. He's made his point, Beth. 
trafficking the, in Romania. Right, no, this, this is the nonsense Does that of media. Change your no, no, I, I tell you what. I tell you what. Let's execute him. You happy? This is the nonsense that we've got. Nobody can talk. He's just completely owning her. Just showing how ridiculous her questions are. Objectively, sensibly, about anything. Andrew Tate is very important to a huge number of young men. Now that should worry you. That should worry you. The does fact it worry you? Of course it does. Do you disavow him then, Nigel? I've just done it twice. Yeah, so, what do you so want, you three think, times? So three times in the cockerel no, crowed in the biblical way? Now the Prime Minister has described you as a Putin appeaser. What's your response to that? What a load of cobblers. Just because I've got a better understanding of history and geography than they have. You said that you thought Ukraine should enter peace talks. You're aware of President Zelensky's position on that? Yes, if he wants to... If both sides... Look, wars end in two ways. You know, I'm an historian. Wars end in two ways. Either one side gets annihilated, literally annihilated, as happened, of course, to Germany in 1945, or there are negotiations. Some people yeah. will think that you are yeah. being pro-Kremlin in, no, 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 in that no, position? No, I'm anti-war against the warmongering parties of Labour and Conservative over the last 25 years. There is a way through this. There is actually a way through this. Yes, of course, territories that have taken have to be given up. Uh, but, so given back? But, but, and, so and you'd like Russia to the give West, the territories the, back the, to Ukraine? The West has a big card to play, all right? A big card to play in you terms of like NATO. You would like Russia to give taken territory back to Ukraine, just to be clear? I think that's what has to happen. Okay. That's what has to happen. But, but, but I think, look, negotiations may come to nothing. You know, Churchill famously said, George Orr is better than World War, and he was involved in one war that ended in a negotiation and another that ended in annihilation. And I really do fear, I really do fear for what's going to happen to Ukraine if this goes on for another three or four years. I don't know about you, but I just got bored and bored and more bored of Beth Rigby asking the same question over and over and over again, just so that she can try and get a specific answer out of him if he hasn't given it already that's going to get him into trouble. Nigel Handel had that so, so well. He showed her that he is in charge of that conversation. He's not going to allow her to completely steamroll him and take away his ability to own his words and get him to say exactly the dodgy words that she wants him to. No, it wasn't going to happen. And I have never seen a politician handle the mainstream press that well. If that was Rishi Sunak or that was Keir Starmer, they would have gone on to, in response to her questions on some long convoluted babble completely avoiding the question to try and keep themselves out of trouble what did Nigel do he answered the question directly and then when she didn't like the answer she just kept kept asking again it was just clear as day in this that the mainstream media are trying to stitch up reform best they can but do you know what they're not going to win. Nigel's got his wits about them and they are just gaining more and more momentum as time and time goes on. The mainstream media, they cannot control what the public think as much as they used to before because you know what? We've got social media now and we can, generally speaking, post what we want on there. The reform social media has had way more interaction than the Tories and Labour and it's becoming way more important than those few mainstream media outlets. So... You're not going to win Sky News. You're not going to win Beth Rigby. I'm sorry. Now, question for you guys. Nigel said there that he thinks that this time next week, there's going to be a huge conversation about our electoral system. Now, I'm quite on the fence about this. Should we stick with first past the post or should we switch to something like PR? I'm unsure about both, to be honest. I don't know which way I stand on this. I want to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments. I'm Chloe Dobbs and this has been another video for Reasoned UK. Stay tuned for the next one. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already so you don't miss tomorrow's video.